Hello everyone, we will continue the topic adding custom fields to the standard BAPI and in the previous video we identified that these are the structures if we want to add the custom fields to the MARA table. So in the BAPI from the BAPI perspective you need to add the custom fields to these structure, to these extension structures given by the SAP. Now, what we will do, we will add the custom fields to these extension structures of Mara, which are available in the BAPI. And lastly, we will add the custom fields to the Mara table also. So in this video, we will add the custom field at three places. We will add in this particular structure. We will add in this particular structure. And lastly, we will add those fields to the Mara table. So we will go for the process. So I will copy this structure name first. This is SC11 transaction code. I will put the structure name. We will go for display. Now, now I cannot go for change mode and add blindly those two columns. This is SAP structure. Name is starting with B. I cannot directly change the structure. Yes, I can add the columns at the last of this structure. During data dictionary topic, we studied one topic types of structure at that time we put so much stress if you want to add your columns to the SAP structure or tables you can always always in you can always always append through append structure you can always always add through append structure because append always append at the last so in SAP tables or structures, whenever you want to add your own columns or fields, always, always you can do through append structure. So what I will do, I will simply click on to append structure. I will click on to create button. Now what SAP is saying, SAP provided some best naming conventions and we all should follow those naming conventions. Whenever you are going for your append structure, whenever you are going for your customized append structure to SAP tables or structure, always start the name starting with Z or A. It is a customized append structure. So we should always follow the naming conventions which SAP provided. So I will go for ZA and I will give some name. Suppose I am saying Mara extension. This is Mara extension. We'll go for OK. Suppose I will give some description. Extension for Mara. Now I will pass those two column names. What are those two columns? One is legacy system identification and one is material is valid or obsolete. Now again we will follow the best naming conventions given by SAP. Whenever you are adding your own columns to SAP tables using append structure always give the column names starting with ZZ or YY. Suppose I am saying ZZ and I will pass the name suppose sister. I will pass that data element which we created for the system. We will check in SC11 transaction code but the name we gave. This is the data element name we gave. It has a domain of character 3, 
I will save it as a local object. Yes, character three. And we have the three legacy system, LS1, LS2, LS3 in that domain. Now we will go for second column. ZZ, again, best naming convention. Suppose material type, M type we are taking. Type, I will pass that data element which we created. This is the data element. Character, okay, sorry, ZZ M type, sorry. Character one is there. It has a domain of character one. And in that domain, yes, we have V for valid and O for obsolete. Now I will activate this append structure. Okay. I will go for back button. I will go for okay. Now you can see this append structure is the part of this structure and those two columns added at the last. So this is the way how you should add the columns to the SAP structure or tables. Now same way we will add the columns to the second structure. And we all know we always has a corresponding structure which ends with X always. And we all know, we all know that this is called as update structure. We, in, during the data migration, we put so much stress. In one structure, we are passing the value. In the corresponding structure, we are passing the value to capital X so that SAP can understand that you are updating the value. If I will show you that code, you can easily, easily understand. When we did at that point of time, in one structure, we are passing the value and in the another structure, we are passing the value to capital X. In one structure, we are passing the value. In another structure, we are passing the value capital X. So same way, we have two structures for Mara also. I will go for display. This is SAP structure. I cannot change it directly. So I can simply, simply click on to which structure? Append structure. Now I will click on to create button. Now people will ask, can I use same to same structure here, which we created for BAPI TE Mara? No, because append is never, never a reusable structure. Once you use in one structure or table, I cannot reuse in any other structure or table. If I will try to use the same to same name here, it will simply give me the error that you need to go for a different name. You need to create a new one. Suppose here I will just choose or I will pass X. Rest everything same. ZA, we follow the best naming conventions. I will go for OK. Here I will give the description. Extension structure for Mara X, I will mention. Now same to same column names we will pass. ZZ system, ZM type, ZZM. Now, now here I cannot use the data elements which I created. Just recall in this particular, in this particular structure, whenever we will pass the values of these two column, we will only pass capital X. We will not pass the values. Yes. See, if you see this example, we are passing the value here, but in the next corresponding structure, we are only, only putting capital X, capital X. So I cannot use those data elements. Those are of character three or character one, but we are only, only passing one thing, capital X. So I will use the SAP data element itself, which SAP provided. See in the corresponding structure, we are only putting capital X. So I choose the SAP data element of character one only so that we can put capital X. 
same way. Important point and maximum people do the mistake here. They will use same to same thing here. In the corresponding X structure, update structure, you are only putting capital X. I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. I will activate. I will go to back button. Now you can, if you want to, if you are not remembering the name of the data element, you can check existing also. SCP simply, simply used to copy update for rest of the columns. Now we added the two columns to both the structures of the Mara, both the extension structures of Mara, that is BAPI TE underscore Mara, BAPI underscore TE underscore Mara X. Now what we will do, we will add the same to same columns to the Mara table also, because at the last values should save in the table. So we will add the columns to the table also. I will go to Mara table. I will display that table. Same way, I cannot go for change mode. I need to go for append structure. I will click on to create button. Again, we will follow the best naming convention. ZA, suppose I will say Mara. I will give Mara. ZA Mara. We will go for O. We will go for short description. Suppose we will say append structure for Mara. And I will add the same to same two columns here also. ZZ system, ZM type. Now we will pass the same to same data element for system and for material. I will activate the append structure. It will take time because you are adding the columns to SAP table. See how many places this SAP table is used. So it has to update at all the places. So whenever you are adding the columns to SAP standard tables, it will take time in the activation process. So we added the columns at three places, BAPI underscore TE underscore Mara, BAPI underscore TE underscore Mara X, which is the corresponding update structure for the Mara. And at the last, we added the columns to the Mara table also. It will take time for the activation. Then I will show you that how those columns are added to the Mara table, these two columns added to the Mara table. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we added the two columns, whatever the customized columns are there. We added the, we added those customized fields to the extension structures of Mara. I'll say two structures. One is Mara, one is Mara X in which we are passing the corresponding values of the columns to capital X. And lastly, we are passing the columns to the Mara table. We added the columns to the various structures using the append because append always appends at the last. Whenever you want to add the columns to the SAP tables, always, always go through append. It's done. Now I will show you. You can see if I will show you the columns in the Mara table, we have two extra columns in the Mara table. You can see the two columns added to the Mara table. In the next video, we will start with the logic part. We will write a logic to pass the values. So that's it in this video. Thank you.